Good afternoon. I have a book for you today. This is Moonlight. She's a ball python from uh, Western Africa. She's going to help me today read to you guys. I have a book that is called What is a Mother? And this is a very special book. And the reason why it's so special is because it's actually a compilation of children's responses to that very question. These are children's responses compiled by Lee Parr McGrath and Joan Scobie, illustrated by Lissel Wheel. Can you get around here a little bit better? Thank you, behave yourself. It's called What is a Mother? And the back cover is just as adorable. It even includes a hedgehog. Now, the great thing about this book is it was published in 1968. But first, before we get to that page, I wanted to show you the very front page had a heart here, which someone wrote in to Mama from Tracy, 1968. So we'll have to see if there's a Tracy in here who has a response. Compiled by Lee Parmagraf and Joan Scobie, as I told you, illustrated by Lucy Will, in a Send Jess special edition, New York, 1968. And here it says, what is a mother? It's a very good question. All right, so here there's an introduction, and there's a nice picture of a illustration of a police officer pulling over a lady with her child and dog. Um, so basically they're uh, having a little introduction here um, and talking about, you know, they're doing this little thing with children. So the pictures are not illustrated by the children. This what was written is actually even the children's handwriting. So on the first page, the first person, Louise, says that a mother is the only one if she sings your favorite song is Stops Thundering by Louise. This is from Julie F. A mother is one who will never forget you, even if you get married and move to another town or place. Isn't that nice? Calling each other long distance with a landline, 1968. Next we have Marshall. When you come home, she tells you to stay out, and when she calls you for dinner, you should come in. When she tells you to go in the shower, you better do it. Marshall. Here we have Mary Claire S. Mothers nibble before meals and tell you not to. That's what a mother is. All right, here we have Andy's response. This is the story of what a mother is. A mother is to visit you when you have your tonsils out. Number two, a mother is to keep you from scratching your chicken pox. Back then there was no chicken pox vaccine, kids. Number three, a mother is to visit you when you have a broken leg. Four, a mother is good to have. Andy, you know the sad thing is a mom can't visit you if you have coronavirus. <laughs> All right, sorry. This poor kid, he's been through some stuff. All right. Libby said, mothers say no, no, before the child can ever tell her what she wants. But I think mothers should let them finish. <gasps> hmm. Liz Ann has to say, who is a mother? She knows what is important. That is why God asked them to be a mother. Hmm. Jeannie says, mothers are friends to dogs. Wait, does she feel left out? What's going on here? I never really looked at that part of the picture. She's kind of like, mom, mom, I want treats too. All right, Jack says, Mothers are people with x-ray eyes. <gasps> they always know where you are, what you are doing, how you're doing it, who you're doing it with, and where you're doing it. They are the first ones to find out what you don't want anyone to know. 
And that loud noise, ladies and gentlemen, was Moonlight knocking down our book for our next story time. Can I get my wrist back now? You're supposed to be cooperating. Okay. Doug, that was Jack, by the way. Doug, just what is a mother? A mother is undescribable. Where are you going? <laughs> She's like, I'm going for a slither. Okay, here we have Fred T. He's in class 3S. It is lucky that we have a mother because if we did not have a mother, everything would be in a big, big mess. Hate to tell you, Fred, some moms are not that, you know, some moms are messy. All right, Betsy, what is a mother? When I have something to tell somebody, I can tell my mother sometimes, but not all the time. <laughs> Here's Janet. Some mothers sign your report card. Some write notes when you are absent. Sometimes they drive the children to school and back. Hey, Moonlight. <laughs> the mother does the studying. Janet, the mother does the studying? Somebody's been doing your homework for you. This is from Gary. A mother doesn't do anything except, can you behave? Grief. I keep, thought a parrot would interrupt me, but really. A mother doesn't do anything except she wants to. Nobody makes her take baths and naps or takes away her frog. Gary. <laughs> Chip says, this is what a mother does in this order. One, they buy birthday presents. Stop trying to climb on things. Two, they write letters. Three, they talk on the phone. Back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, we sure did. 90s, some too. Four, and sometimes they clean house. Number five. Number five was left blank, so maybe that's for you to fill in. All right, that was Chip. Now we have John, another cursive handwritten note. <clears throat> Millennials. Don't say boomer, I'm not a boomer. My mother, she's busy around Thanksgiving. By Christmas, she's full of joy. By January, she's even happier because school starts. <laughs> oh, oh, sweet. My mother is like nobody else. I love my mother and I think you should too. Margaret M. How sweet. Okay, you're going under my arm because you keep trying to get somewhere. My mother works for me. Wow. She cooks my lunch every day. She cleans the table. She also might keep me clean. You will enjoy a mother. Love, Nan. Nan, that's like a grandma's name, Nan. All right, Jimmy wrote, a mommy is a wife. A mommy looks after children, and she yells. <laughs> Kenny writes, a mother is the inside house worker. That's true. That is true. Sometimes she works outside in the yard, too. A mother is someone who takes care of you. And if you're sick, my mother will take care of you. Carmen, grade two. I just had a thought. I want to go back to this so you don't yell at me. Women obviously also have paying jobs too. Let's, I'm just saying, even if you are a stay-at-home mom, you might work in the yard too. Anyway. Okay, Ralph said, do you know what's a mother? I know because my mother always tells what a mother is and what a mother does and mother this and that. All righty, Ralph. Mmm, a mother cooks for us. I love you, mother. Yours truly, your son, Ricky. You think that's Ricky Gervais? No, because he's only a year older than me, so he would have been zero when this was published, I think. All right, uh, this is Maureen. My mother helps reach tall things. Ooh, somebody's bird got out on the, got on the chandelier. 
Good thing the fan's not running. There's no fan on this, so the bird is okay. I hope the bird doesn't mind stepping up to a bare hand. We don't, what's gonna happen next? Is the bird gonna fly away? Is the bird gonna bite her? Is the bird gonna step up? What, what's gonna, is the mom gonna fall? Is the she, look, she's on tippy toes. Does the daughter push over the chair? I don't know, that's an interesting illustration. A mother is a mother, but when I have to do something, she does it for me <laughs> without explaining, Norma. <laughs> Love you, Norma. Mothers are wonderful. In the background, Togley's meowing. She spends all her time on you. A mother is just like God, except God is better, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet that's sweet I feel I feel like I'm just like God except God's better okay. a mother is someone who should love all her children not just one or two Francis that's that's a really sad illustration isn't it poor little puppy just go over there dude all they're doing is lying on their mom silly what a mother is. A very dear person who has given up her life with her parents to be by herself with her husband. Also to raise a few children herself. Hester. Hester didn't really plan the spacing, but the publisher probably could have kind of centered it on the page just to make it, I don't know, whatever, sorry. <laughs> okay, Sue, another cursive handwriting. Child, my mother is a lady. She goes to meetings. She plays games with us in the evening and makes the team she is on win. I love my mother and she loves me, Sue. And look at these hearts, double hearts over the words love and love. A mother spanks you, but only for a reason. And that reason, you're supposed to know. Joe. <laughs> Oof, this is great. All right, if I forget to tell my mother, I need my shepherd costume tomorrow morning. She finds one in the night. That is a mother. Harry. Harry, you probably should have told your mother you were in the school play a little sooner. We, as moms, we've all been through this. We get the call, I forgot to bring my whatever, whatever for the concert, can you bring it now? My youngest son has nightmares about that, about me not bringing what he needs. This is from Jim. She cooks only three times a day. She cleans often, but not as often as she takes care of her children. Oh, Jim, that's nice. Let's see what Mary Louise had to say. A mother is a lady who has trouble with her children or in her house, but she doesn't mind. <laughs> yes, with some of these, I'm like, where is this going? A mother is someone to love and someone to play with. You will enjoy a mother. Love, Debbie. I love the way some of these are like ads, like marketing campaigns. Please, purchase a mother this week. They're on sale, 30% off. Actually, you know how much mothers are right now during the coronavirus pandemic? Mothers are worth their weight in gold right now. Dads, too. Everybody who's at home, whoever you are at home, taking care of whoever the kids and the... Woo, it's a time. I'm thankful I have teenagers and I don't have to change diapers, I'll tell you that. She always says to ask her about anything, but she sure doesn't know much about fourth grade math. <laughs> That's from Mary. <laughs> Elliot, mothers always shout, pick up your things, and they mostly end up doing it themselves. <laughs> Oh, Missy. Missy has very nice handwriting and planned her spacing a lot better than some of the other um, participants. But you can tell she's older. She's very neat. She's organized. This is like someone to contend with. This woman right here. What's her name? Missy? Her name's Melissa now. Yeah. 
someone really together. A mother is a woman that God made. Maybe I should have read it before I said she has it together. <laughs> Sorry. When a man goes out to work, the mother stays home and cleans. But if there was not a mother, the man would have to stay home one part of the day. Missy. One part of the day? So if you're a single mother, you got to wait. I'm conf whatever. Never mind. Mothers get mad if you use your brother's toothbrush, but he doesn't care. Larry. <laughs> I think we are lucky to have a mother of our own. I love my mother so much. I can keep on saying it for the rest of the day. Love Hazel. I love my mother. Barbie, grade three. So grade three is usually eight years old. This was published in 1968. She would have been born in 1960, so she would be 60 right now. So if there's any 60-year-old Barbies out there, this might be you. My mother is a lady who comforts me when something happens. Anyone who needs advice can just Come over, Barbie. Apparently her mother is the neighborhood gossip. A mother is a person too. At first I thought it said a mother is a Persian too. And I was like, what? A mother is a person too, David. So that was a very nice book by many children. I'm sure it was a limited run. There is a number up here, 10283. I don't know if that means anything. And I think I found it at a thrift store, of course, but it's priceless. Well, stay tuned. We're gonna do another story hour. I'm just gonna show you what the second story hour book will be. We'll feature a new animal other than Moonlight here who's been kind of going around, having a good old time, getting some exercise. Next time our book is going to be What Do You Do, Dear? It's by Cecil Jocelyn with pictures by Maury Sendak. Now this is an un... It's like the best kept secret of Maury Sendak's art. And the story is amazing. See you next time on Reading Time with Animals.